What's up, y'all? So Tina's reacting to Martin, and it says real spill. I have a couple things I want to say about this situation. Um, clearly, my name is in it again. Uh, now, I'm not going to react to the video. Last time I did it, it was a long time. This going to be probably about 20 minutes. Well, grab you a little while. Let's get into this video. What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Nick G, the host. And today... I'm back with another reaction video. Before we go any further, make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, and share this video. And yes, sir. What the goddamn hell yeah, Lee? Now, <sighs> Tina has made another video. Martin reacted to this video. I watched Martin's reaction in its entirety. Uh, <laughs> he had me fucked up at the end. Uh, but Tina made a video, a reaction to his video. And uh, while I made my shirt, I had to go make a shirt real fast. Let me make a thumbnail. I had to make my shirt real fast uh, because, you know, that was the topic of the conversation for a few seconds in this video. <coughs> now, First of all, I want to address a couple things that I didn't address and you can't address them while reacting to a video. Number one, it was not my idea to say, let's react to Tina because I don't react to Tina. Uh, Tamika wanted to react to a subject. She wanted to speak about a subject, but just, you know, used her situation for example. Okay. As we spoke about what happened, you know, everybody can tend to, uh, I, I guess get a little further into a conversation, especially when you know certain things and when you've dealt with certain things with a person, whatever. We all know Tina and Queen's drama on the internet, right? Please, everybody, if you, if you can, screen record as much as you can out of this video, all right? I just have a couple things that I want to state, and I'm absolutely done with this petty shit now for one the only reason why i'm paying attention to it is because it's bag season that's the only reason it's bag season bitch it's time to get a coin and you know my broke ass need a dollar okay but i'd rather be broke than be a thief that's my next shirt but this is what i'm gonna say for one i don't give a fuck that she got them tattoos and i hope that is not um i hope that's not what y'all think well, really, I don't give a fuck what people think, but to, to, to the people in the back, I never said that I gave a fuck about those tattoos. I don't. I was asked the question. If she were my sister, would I forgive her? And the answer is no. Like she said, I stand on what I said. So do I. I wouldn't. All right. In the video, she decided to deflect. From even saying anything about what we said in the video. Which was nothing negative except I wouldn't forgive her. Now, us putting her name in the video, she had every right to react to that. Point blank period. That's a fact. Alright, so I'm not surprised that she reacted. I'm not surprised that she got to talking her shit, right? But it was the deflecting for me. She never admits anything, right? So, let me speak about the things that she said about me. Because she repeated it again and apparently she has a story. She says Lee told her whatever. I'm going to take Lee out of this. Lee ain't said shit to me. That don't mean I believe her or I don't believe her. I don't care. If Lee had something to say, she should have said it to me. And if she didn't, that's cool. I'm over it. You know what I'm saying? That shit been three, four years. Once again, I have no disrespect towards Lee. I appreciate what you did. And I stand on that as well. Now, when I went to New York... I took a red eye flight. I had cash, no car. I was one of them niggas that we just gonna call, uh, I was in the bando about four years ago when I was on YouTube. I was in the bando doing videos, right? I had to, I had to handle my business. And y'all know that type of business is a cash flow business. Put two and two together. It's a cash flow business. I had to do what I had to do. 
So, I go out to New York. A bitch ain't got no card. <laughs> okay? I got cash in my pocket, no card. Number one, I'm so glad I went through that because that was the biggest mistake I ever made in my adult life. To go to a whole nother state that uh, with people you don't know. Right? And, and to go with, with good intentions. Good intentions. And experience some things that you will never experience again. See, what happens, Tina, is as an adult, you go through shit, you make dumbass mistakes. And with dumbass mistakes, there comes a consequence. And one thing I love about the light, you know, shit always come to it. Shit always come to the light. When insects flying outside, they hit the light. Shit always comes to the light, you know? But I can only speak for me. It's not in my character to get on the internet and snitch. <laughs> I don't do that. So me coming on the internet and telling you, cause don't say, uh, you can't say I'm snitching about being in a bando. Cause I have, it ain't no bando these days. Ain't no bando these days. Everything legal this way. You get what I'm saying? Ain't no cases that was open, closed, none of that. This ain't snitching. I did what I had to do. So now we ain't about that life no more. We on the straight and narrow, right? A lot of shit making more sense than it did then. One thing I'm going to say is y'all don't ever go to New York. Don't ever go to New York without a car. I have met so many bando niggas. That'll be like, yo, bro, I swear, I got 2000 in my pocket right now. Let me put it on your cash app card. Bro, no. I, I told niggas, though, bro, no, hell no. I can't. So I'm not surprised that I got told to no. know. And I'm also not surprised that this has come to the internet neither. Out of your mouth. The snitch of the year. Goddamn, Lita told you something in confidence. Here you go snitching on her. <laughs> but I'd rather be a snooty pooty than a thief, you hear me? That's a fact. So did I go to New York broke? Uh-uh. Did I go to New York with a with a with several hundred dollars in no card? Hell yeah. Did I ask anybody to spend the night at their house? Yes. But was it Lee? Hell no. Nah. I spent the night at my OG crib. That's where I spent the night at. And I had to spend the night because nobody hit me back within three days. Lee said she was busy handling her business, did what she had to do. Bet. Do you, boo? <laughs> I'll be over here. I had to ask my OG to spend the night. I invaded on her for sure. I apologize. We kept it moving. She told me, Neek, this is the dumbest shit you ever did and don't ever do it again. And I said, you know what? I won't, OG. And that was the last time we had that conversation. Because I ain't never did no dumb shit like that again. Now, let's get to this analytic situation. Let me use this example in this video. Here is a computer. A MacBook Pro. A 2019, by the way, because I ain't broke no more. You have to have a password to get into this computer. It says touch ID or enter password. In order for me to get into a computer, I would need a password. So it's no way I went to New York and went in somebody else's home. And suddenly, right, I knew a password. Like, oh, shit, I can get into their computer. Ain't no way, Tina. Sorry. But not only that, I'm going to give you another scenario because I need y'all to hear this one loud and clear. If a fucking computer is open and I walk by and I can see, I'm a look. But I'd rather be a snooty pooty than a thief. You call me snooty pooty, bitch. I'm going to claim it. Whatever she said. <laughs> All right. Whatever. 
I'd rather be a snooty pooty than a thief, man. Walk by computer, look at something. If that's what I did, because I damn sure don't remember that. I don't recall looking at nobody analytics. But not only that, I ain't got nobody password. I couldn't take my thumb and put it on nobody's computer. All them, somebody said, did you look? No, I don't recall looking through nobody's computer. That's why I'm giving you an example, because she say I did, apparently. My fault, it was four years ago. So if a computer is open, I'm just giving y'all a scenario just in case. I mean, what? The, I don't know what the fuck <laughs> is going on. <laughs> but just to go through somebody analytics, I can't do that. I just physically can't do that. You get what I'm saying? But let me get more into this. When we were there, everybody spoke about how much money they was making. I didn't have to go through the analytics. I already knew. Everybody spoke about how much money they was making, y'all. <laughs> you even told me how much money you was making. YouTubers do shit like that. They tell each other how much niggas is making. You want to know why? Because you could go straight to Social Blade and look it up. Ain't no secrets. You can't hide this shit. Clarence just showed niggas his analytics by six months ago. He just showed everybody his analytics. So as far as I'm concerned, we all guilty. Everybody done looked through Clarence's analytics. He just showed us his analytics six months ago. <laughs> he just did. You get what I'm saying? So there go that analytics situation. I mean, hell, unless I can put my thumb on it, have a password. As far as I'm concerned, I ain't go through no analytics because I damn sure didn't do that. But once again, for your scenario, if a computer is open and I walk by, bitch, I'm going to look. Because I'd rather be a snooty pooty than a thief. You dig what I'm saying? All right. This flight situation. I ain't had no cash. I mean, I ain't had no car, baby. Lee, you got down, take me to the airport. I know. I got a red eye. I ain't going to sleep. I need you to take me to that red eye, bro. I don't have no other way to get there. Can you call me a cab? Can you Uber me right now? I even asked her if she could take me to the motherfucking airport that moment. She said, no, nah, I ain't going to take you out there. You got down sitting in the airport, just sitting in the airport. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'll tell you when it's about time for your flight. I'm not asking nobody to spend the night at their house. And I don't have anywhere to sleep. Where am I sleep? I know they was talking shit about me. Because Clarence came downstairs and said, what the fuck y'all still doing here? Clarence came downstairs and said, what the fuck y'all still doing here? Lee said, man, I got to take her to a flight, man. I would have been aggravated with me too. So even if Lee told you that, I ain't mad at that neither. Because I'd rather be a snooty pooty than a thief. Sorry. Okay. I want y'all to know I'm grown as fuck. Do you hear me? At some point in your life, you make dumbass decisions. And me going to New York broke with cash. And when I say broke with cash, because having to ask somebody to use their debit card is broke. Going to New York with just cash and no card was the dumbest shit I've ever done in my life. But I'd rather be dumb than be a thief. I'd rather be dumb than be a thief any day. Let me think of what else you said. Because I think that's it on that note. Yeah, I came to Atlanta. Caught a flight because I wasn't broke then. And you didn't answer the phone. I wasted my money because you clearly you said Lee basically told you not to. 
Woman to woman, you could have told me that. Hey, Lee told me not to fuck with you, so I can't. <laughs> Simple as that. Then I could have took it up with Lee. But I don't know if Lee said that shit or not, because goddamn, you won't hear snitching. You won't hear snitching on her. You know what I'm saying? I don't know who said it. But shit, if you if you couldn't do a video, if you couldn't, you should have fucking said that. Woman to woman. Especially since you so real. Because you wouldn't say that to my face. You wouldn't come say that to my face. But you couldn't tell me, hey, Lee said I can't do a video with you because you broke. Lee said I can't do a video with you because you a snooty pooty. Lee said I couldn't do a video with you because um she don't like you or I don't like you either. I don't know whatever was said when I wasn't there. You could have said that to me. Since you will say that to my face, you should have answered the fucking phone. My mama said I couldn't do it. Lee is my mama. Have a good night. You should have said that. Here we are four years later and you're bringing it up. Like I was going to be upset. Like I don't know at some point in my life, I was broke and making dumb ass decisions. I'm so glad that I know how to reflect. The difference between me and you is I'm reflecting. You deflect. I just sat here and admitted every single thing you have said about me, aside from the fact that I know ain't the truth. Knowing somebody's password th going through their computer ain't what something I do. That's just, I don't know her password. I mean, excuse me, his. I just don't know. I, I can't own up to that one. I don't know that one to be true because I know that I didn't have nobody's password to go through nobody's computer. I'm sorry. If you tough, you were supposed to tell me, bitch, I can't do it with you. My mama said no. My second mama, Lee, said I couldn't do it. All right. What's all the points? I'm a snooty pooty. I was broke. Is that it? I guess it's time for my closing. <laughs> I don't give a fuck. When I tell you, I don't give a fuck. Uh, about them. About them fucking uh, anything, honestly, that you said. <laughs> oh, the tattoos. I don't give a fuck about them tattoos. I don't. That's your arm, them your arms. It's how you spoke about your nephew and put him on your arm was the phony part. And hell, for you to not be for you to not be able to tell me you can't do a video and not own up to the fact that you basically spoke shit about your nephew. I mean, you phony anyway. I mean, to be a thief. Like a thief in the night. I said, uh, uh, hold on, hold on. Like a thief in the night. I do anything but some pussy. What'd you say? I steal anything but some pussy. I forgot the song. That was corny. You see how I can admit that was corny? <laughs> but my nigga, like, you talked about your nephew like he was nothing. Your little nephew. And had the audacity to put him on your arm. <laughs> that was just crazy to me. If I was queen of certain shit, I wouldn't forgive. I wouldn't. I said what I said on that one. And that's something I'll tell you to your face. But truthfully, y'all, I don't give a damn who believe whatever is being said. Y'all got to understand, everybody have a, a, a point in their life where they just fucking is a mess. <laughs> I mean, just to be honest with you, 
then the, that was just a mess. But one thing I always said I'd never be is a thief and a fucking liar. I hate thieves and I hate liars. I would hate to be you. I would hate to be you. You get what I'm saying? So feel how you want. And, and please spare me that she's 19. She's a grown ass woman. She done tested me like I wouldn't say nothing to her face. Acting like I'm behind a camera hiding from her and shit. I wouldn't say it to her face. She can't even tell me, bitch, I can't do a video with you because my mama said so. My second mama. Okay? My second mama said I can't do a video. Couldn't even say it over the phone. On the phone. So, yeah. You got to miss me with the tough shit. But my closing statements, because I said this video wasn't going to be but 20 minutes and we at 21. Uh, y'all, I'm a grown ass woman in my life. I have made some dumb ass decisions, but everything comes to the light on everybody's end. So I guess this is one thing that has come to my light. At one point I was broke as hell. That's a fact. At one point I was just a cash nigga, no car. I ain't know no better. I was in the bando. Took a certain amount of money, left a certain amount of money at home. I didn't take all my money because I was in New York. I said, I don't want to get robbed. I ain't got no Ryan on me. I don't want to get robbed. Didn't take all my money. Now I look broke. <laughs> now I look broken than what I really am. You get what I'm saying? I had to ask niggas, can I put it on your car? I got the cash. Woo, certain shit I would never, ever, ever do again. But you would never be able to humiliate me for that because I know who I am. <laughs> And I, I, I appreciate the fact that I went through it. No matter what Lee said or didn't say, because I don't, I can't believe this bitch. She be lying. I don't know what she said, to be honest with you. I don't know what she said. But what I will say is I still appreciate her for what she did. She had every right to talk shit because at the end of the day, I wouldn't want to deal with it either. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. Today, if somebody were to do that to me, I wouldn't want to deal with it either. You kind of got to have your shit together. Do you have a car? Do you have a debit card? Do you have flight money? If we go to a restaurant, can you leave a tip? Huh? Can you buy your own drink? Can you get your own bottle? Hell yeah, I got rules too. Now, you know what I'm saying? So I wouldn't want to deal with it either. You know what I'm saying? So I'm not surprised if anybody was talking shit about me from any group, you know, but one thing about going through life and going through shit like that is you prevail. And I have prevailed. Whether I'm making a lot of money today or even if I were still to be broke, baby. Mentally, I have the best place in my life. Mentally, I'm in the best place of my life. You hear me? And can't nobody take that away from me. Not even you. And Tina, one more thing. I'd rather be a snooty pooty than a thief any day. Nobody can ever trust a thief. Ever. I don't know how many pizzas you got to steal, how many flip-flops you got to buy, and how many shirts you had to get for you to not get cut off by the people you want to be behind so bad. But a thief and a liar don't hold no weight over, uh, oh, nothing. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like I say, it's bag season. So I was going to do this video. But y'all, after this, well, it depends. I can't even say I'm done because it's bag season. So depending on the next video I see, I might react to it. You know what I'm saying? I ain't even going to lie. I ain't even going to be like, I ain't going to make the video. <laughs> uh, depending on what I see. I'm just going to have on a shirt that gives you a message. <sighs> All right. I've went five minutes over what I said I would. 
And I am absolutely done with this video. I love y'all. I appreciate y'all so much. We are on to the next video.